Welcome to Learn to Grow You, Larrier's Education and Resource Network, where when you learn, you're planting seeds that will help you grow. Today's seed moment is going to focus on a multi-tab fold. Sometimes when I'm teaching, I like the students to be able to either compare and contrast information, or to talk about a cause and effect, or to think about three types of pieces of information. Well, with foldables, you get that opportunity to chunk the information, to have students look at the main idea, and then put the details inside. Hmm, let's see, what do I want to focus on today? Comparing and contrasting Gondwana land versus Laurasia, the two names of the water and the land for the original term of the land mass, Pangaea. Let's take a fold that we've learned how to make already, which was the hamburger fold. So again, the sheet of paper is in the portrait orientation. You folded the top of the sheet to the bottom. You laid it on the table, found that your edges were precise and exact along with your corners, pinched and pulled. I'm going to open it back up because I want to make two different parts. I'm going to fold it along the hot dog axis or the vertical axis. I'm going to pinch at the initial fold that I made and pull up only on one side. Two sections at the top, one at the bottom. I'm going to take my scissors and cut from the bottom of the crease and stop at the top. Now I have two sections. One for Gondwana land and one for Laurasia. Then I'm going to label. And now I can actually have the students start with information that I provide for them. Lift up the flap, the main idea is on the front, the details will be on the inside, and they can actually use space down here or space up here to write the details of the information. Also hold boxes and bullets. The box would be Gondwana land, the bullets would be the details. I also make sure that I give them their own assignment to go home or do some independent research to probably find either an image or some other details and then turn it into their own language. Here are some other examples of how multi-tab folds can be used. Here, I was asking students to tell me about rural, suburban, and urban places. In literacy, I was asking students to compare and contrast fairy tales versus folk tales and what both have in common. Even in music, if I'm teaching vocabulary terms, tell me about what you know about the rhythm, the tempo, composite forms, and pitch. The Sahara Desert, tell me about the different plants, animals, precipitation, and the types of desert that you would find in the Sahara. Comparing and contrasting anthropologists with archaeologists. What's the same? What's different? Even for training adults, what's the difference between the weaker solution and the stronger solution of sanitizing solutions in childcare? Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt and its relationship to the Mediterranean Sea. In a book study, we were taking a look at the story of Ruby Bridges, one being a biography and the other being an autobiography. Ah, here's my seed moment. Here's where I have lower and upper school students using the parts of the flower, the fruit, the stem, the leaf, and the roots. For lower school students, I probably just want them to be able to write down the title of the part of the flower on the inside, and maybe one thing that they remember. And lastly, this was some social studies information that we were taking a look at. It was on Manifest Destiny, and the type of land that was crossed by people who traveled from the East Coast across to the West Coast, and how they traveled across the Appalachian Mountains, across the Mississippi River, across the Rocky Mountains, and finally to the Pacific Ocean. For teaching, for review, and for assessment, foldables are a great way to learn information. That's our sequel for today.